everyone. Um, I thought I'd go ahead and uh, give you a sneak peek of uh, what I'm working on, a, a future project that's going to take a couple years in the works here, but uh, starting to make progress. Um, I'm actually um, making a new ride system, which will be fully automated. It's going to run on a bus system, so it'll have, um, I'm either going to have a, a three bar or just a one bar with a, which will probably be wood, <clears throat> and I'll have the power running on either side of the track. So I'll give me my 24 volts. So what I'm gonna do to control it is I'm gonna use a um, Click PLC, little microcontroller. And here, as you can see, this is my whole, uh, pretty much my whole setup for my in and outs and everything. How it's gonna control everything. Here's my my new control panel. It's I'm actually gonna make a full panel that's gonna go from the floor up. And that's where I'm gonna incorporate um, this unit. So um, as it's gonna be, I'm gonna have my emergency stop, override in case there's a problem. Um, dispatch, and then jog four, which should be advanced from the uh, unload position. So once the vehicle stops at the unload position and the people get out, once it's clear, then you can go ahead and hit, hit the jog forward, which will bring it to the next position, which will be load. So I'm also going to have run a sub panel so I can run either one or two operators. This will be the advanced stop, the jog stop. So if you engage this, then this button and this button both these jog buttons will not work it'll it'll compromise them for safety in case let's say the person at the exit is still helping somebody get out and they don't accidentally advance the car forward <clears throat> and for um as far as the drivetrain i'm using i'm gonna be using dual motors like this one right here and i'll have one on either side of the track and i'll actually pull the vehicle ride vehicle along the track and so that's the design i'm going to use and I'm going to make a larger car, which will accommodate probably two adults and four children. So that'll be a lot bigger, not better capacity. And to control, I'm going to have actually have six zones. I'm going to have four around the actual ride, the actual regular ride part. Then there'll be two at the unload and load stations. And to control them, I will be, from the microcontroller, I will be controlling six of these 40 amp breakers, industrial breakers which will also be incorporated into this whole system, which will be in the control panel area. And then to um, have anti-collision and all that other good stuff and to know where the vehicles are at all times, I'm gonna use these photo eye sensors. I'm gonna have eight of them all together through my attraction. I'm gonna have um, six in all the six zones and I'll have two additional ones for the uh, vehicle park where they park at. So it'll be pretty cool stuff. <clears throat> and a great gentleman named Michael Field has been helping me with the programming and designing of this whole setup here. So thank you so much, Michael. Really appreciate it. So anyway, so that's what I thought I'd let you guys have a little sneak peek of uh, what I'm working on here. And um, I'll give you more updates and I'm gonna see about maybe doing behind the scenes once I get more done. Uh, probably after I, I complete the attraction, I'll probably do a whole series again on this one. So um, right now I'm still in the planning process of how I'm gonna build my ride vehicle. So there's a few designs I'm thinking about and also my track design, so. Hopefully uh, soon here, if we get past all this summer heat, I could uh, get back to work and uh, get me a prototype set up and a prototype track. So thank you for watching this and uh, stay spooky.